Okay, this is the Scratch Space Walker build part 9. We've made a lot of progress since our last update. Uh, I've taken the pilot out of uh, my cadet and I've glued on a piece of thick balsa and sanded it to meet, kind of match his, his contour of his body and then I'll paint it because I need to sit up higher and I want to make, you know, make it look like a, you know, his whole body. So anyway, I've got some work to do. I'll paint it and make it look all decent. So, just to give you an idea. And then also, I went ahead and wrapped it. Um, I know I've jumped quite ahead from my last bill, but I wrapped it with the uh, small uh, 16th. Let's see if I got a piece of it here. 16th. Just wrapped it like that. Glued it. Sanded it really well. Cut a hole. Uh, after I cut the hole, I put little um, skewer sticks here drill holes so that way when I put it down in there it keeps it from moving sideways so that's keeping it nice and left or uh, straight left and right and then I put a magnet here and there and that keeps the nose down because I was having to find the nose was lifting up so that'll keep that nose nice and see I'm pulling it right now and it's really holding it so that keeps the nose down. And then I'm actually going to get a screw probably. I was going to just do magnets on both. And I'm so afraid that canopy is going to fall off. So I'm actually going to put a screw right there with a retaining nut. Or, you know, one of those it grips in the bottom here. And then I can just screw down the park. Just a simple little attachment. And then I put a, uh, a piece here. Let me take this canopy off. That magnet holds really well. I just cap the bottom some ball supply and then I put a flat piece here for the uh, instrument panel so that ought to look pretty cool um, anyway sanded it out and then I've also got some give you an idea I've got some of this rubber tubing here I've got two sizes one of them seems too big and one of them seems too small but we'll figure it out maybe I might have to get some more but I want to line it like that and then once I wrap it all the way around, like this, then I'll give it the authentic look and take some, some thread after I cover it. I'll cover it first with the um, covering, put this on, and then I'll put strings around it. And that'll make it look you know, pretty authentic. So I don't know, just an idea. All that adds weight, so you gotta be careful, but I, I figure I want this to you know, be pretty scale. I want it to look like a, you know, a real plane. Got the battery axis here. Um, canopy. So there you have it. That's the uh, canopy part nine of the uh, spacewalker build. Hopefully, in my next segment, I'll have the screw in, um, and I may actually begin working on the wing or the tail. I think I'm going to do the tail first. I'm going to hold off the wing last, um, just because it seems like it takes forever. The main wing. So I'll do the tail, the stab, vertical, horizontal, whatever. Uh, put the screw in, and then do the firewall. I'm going to put a piece of uh, either plywood or balsa ply. I'll probably do plywood on here, and then we can attach our motor to the front of it. And then I'll build the um, build the canopy for it. Or not the canopy, the cowl for it. So there you have it. Space Walker Bill Part Nine. Right now we're about 14, 15 ounces, so the weight is definitely adding up. A lot of that's the battery in the motor, so we'll see what happens. And that's it.